Hi and welcome to my channel. Today's video we're going to be changing the blade out on this uh, 10 inch Rikon bandsaw. Uh, there is a newer version of this which uh, when you want to loosen uh, the guide bushings or, or you know you're basically going to have the thumb screws but it's basically uh, more or less the same procedure. The other difference between uh, my older one and the new one is going to be that uh, this one has uh, just an adjustment here for your tightness. Uh, you don't actually throw a lever on it to, uh, you know, get it and uh, get to put the tension on or take it off. So, um, but I'll go over how you do it and it should apply to both of them. Before we get started today, I'd like to thank everybody who watches and subscribes to my channel. I just hit 1,000 subscribers and I'm, I'm very happy about it. So. I'm going to keep up making videos and hopefully uh, I'll get even more. So uh, thanks again and back to the video. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is obviously unplug the machine so there's no risk of anything turning, you know, if we were to open anything. or uh, So we're going to do that first. The other thing we're going to need is uh, this should have came with your, um, your Rikon bandsaw already. It's a 5 millimeter uh, wrench. Uh, Allen wrench that you'll adjust on this particular one to loosen all the bearing uh, guides and everything uh, and then also a 10, mil a 10 millimeter wrench so that's what you're going to need today uh, it won't matter if I'm changing out a blade that's just a new blade and uh, if you were to change out and make it wider you get a wider blade or a narrower blade these are all the things that you need to do so okay so what we're going to do is we're going to loosen these up and uh just counter counterclockwise and that's gonna basically allow you to pull pull these out away from the blade so you don't want any restriction if you get any restriction uh and it's very important on this this back one here so actually this one right here um so we're going to loosen that up uh, Go ahead and do that. And another thing is on this particular one, we're gonna loose, loosen the whole mechanism which slides in and out. Okay, because we don't want that back bearing to be e anywhere close to this because then you wouldn't be able to track it left or right. So we're gonna go ahead and pull that back all the way, tighten that up. And then now we've got our back one loose so it, it won't touch anything. Okay, now we're going to go down to the bottom, do the same thing. Okay, now on the bottom one, it's going to be a little bit different. So we've got our side bearings right here, so we're going to loosen those as well. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll loosen this one. And then pull them out. And you don't really have to tighten them back, but can if you want to get them out of the way. Um, so anyway, that's going to loosen that up nice. And you can see there's a lot of space now between uh, the blades so I can move it back and forth. And then also this right here, the nut on this one is actually what tightens this mechanism down so that uh, you can slide it back and forth. So we're going to go ahead and loosen that. Now sometimes uh, this can get loose on you and this whole thing will move. Um, and if that happens, there's a bolt right up under here that you can uh, tighten alone even if this wasn't on there. See how you can see how this moves. It's gonna slide uh, back and forth like this. So you want that back and out of the way, okay? But if it does, if this little washer right here or to get loose, you um, the washer's threaded. That little square washer up there is threaded so that when this slides back and forth, uh, you can you'll be able to tighten just that nut or that bolt right there, and that will tighten that down. If yours is moving, if not, don't worry about it. Just loosen it up. Make sure this thing's all the way, you know, back and out of the way. So now we we know we've got all kinds of room here. So and. Uh, you know it's it's spinning freely right now so okay now we have everything loose so that uh, you know basically when we spin this you shouldn't hear anything nothing okay now we're gonna go ahead 
loosen it up by turning the nut up here. And that's gonna that's gonna move this wheel down. So we're moving it down. And if you haven't done so already, uh, you want to take out this piece. So I've already taken uh, the little uh, fence mechanism off here and the other thing that keeps this from separating. So, uh, and now this is loose. So on mine, uh, this basically just has a channel, but I maybe the other one even might have a, a thing that closes on it for protection. But uh, that's it. So let's just loosen it up and we should be able to now pull it off and see now it's I'm changing this one because it actually got a little bend in it so anyway we're gonna straighten this out and pull it around and then straighten this back out okay so now we have it out let's go ahead and get our new one all right, so now that we've got it you know, out of the box, this is a quarter inch that I'm using, and uh, it's, they, they almost always come with a piece of uh, just tape on it, scotch tape or whatever. Um, and then what you're gonna do is, I always wear gloves because uh, when this thing un unwinds, uh, you know, it, it can pop out on you. So it's, it's good to do that. Kind of drop it on the ground so uh, that that works too all right so now it's on it's all good it's safe uh, if you were to try to put this away uh, basically let's see if I can get this in the picture so if you're trying to put this away you hold it in your hand like this and you bend it like that and that will get you uh, so that you can put it back if you want to take it back off. So that's how you do that. All right, so the first thing you want to do, is we're going to put it in here, just like we did before. And obviously you're going to want the teeth to be, you know, you want to make sure you put it on right. So let's go ahead and put these, this one in, and then like just put it on the bottom wheel like that. And then kind of just bend it a little bit. nice and slow and, and it should fit very easy because you've got no tension on it so All right, so a little bit less tension on it now the new blades gonna have the elasticity in it so what that's gonna do is it's it's actually gonna be a little shorter than your old one that's all stretched out. Over time, that's what happens. Basically, this thing stretches, and uh, it, that's why it's important to loosen your blade uh, when you're when you're not using it, because you don't want all the elasticity to come out of that, uh, and then it not be good anymore. So you need that. So that was a little bit more. Okay, so right now. We've got it on and it's loose. So you don't want to just flip your lever. You don't want to just flip the lever in the back and uh, put tension on it right away. What you want to try to do is just try to gradually put the tension on, especially if you're going from a different size blade. Uh, that's a big difference. Now this one's only just a small difference that we've got, 3 sixteenths to like a quarter. Um, but anyway, so what you're gonna do is just kind of move it up, make sure everything's, you know, is lining up and staying in place. Uh, and you don't wanna rotate it too much until you start getting more tension on it. So, and we can see, you can press right here and you can see that I'm, and usually a good place to check is about an inch above this middle point. So about right here. That's how I'm doing it on this particular one. So those of you that have a lever, just go ahead and tighten it a little, throw the lever, tighten it a little, throw the lever. 
so now what we're doing is we're just trying to get it to a certain level of tension so that it won't come off and it won't try to to uh, once we roll this that it doesn't try to pop off on us so now that we've got that we're gonna go ahead and keep keep tightening it now if it pops off don't worry just loosen it up again and you know take more time with trying to center it on here already so we're gonna I'm gonna change the camera angle and we're gonna see what's happening ours is spinning pretty good right now I'm getting it nice and tight and see I've got good tension on that that's that's pretty decent tension so that will that should allow us to track it let me change the angle of the camera okay if you're unsure about what size bandsaw blade that you have you can um, just look at the plate that comes on here and that'll tell you uh, what size blade that you can put on there and actually the horsepower of the motor so let's go over what we're doing here all right so basically with this hand I'm gonna be rotating this this is our locking tab so we're gonna unloosen that now what you want to think is this so if we were facing this wheel right here that's on the back side if we turn this towards us down like this and this would be counterclockwise or to the left it's actually gonna move the blade to the left um, if we turn it to the right it's gonna pull push the blade to the right and that's because it's changing the angle of this okay so now when I say you just barely move this I mean you barely gonna move this so I'm gonna show you I'm going to basically track it while I'm spinning. I'm going to track it to the left a little. So I'm just going to basically turn it that much. And it actually is moving it. So just a little bit. And now we're pretty much almost in the middle. But I'm going to bring it back just a, sm a smidge. Actually a little more. Okay, I like it right there. So I'm going to go ahead and lock this down. Now if you over tighten this little wing nut right here, it'll actually push in on this and it causes the wheel to change. So don't, don't do it too much. Tighten it a little while you're spinning it and then see what it does. And it's only really, I think, on this model. Okay, now we're back in business. Um, it is tracking in the middle. So uh, the next procedure is to uh, adjust the guide bushings on it so uh, you probably heard the trick uh, where they where people will say to use the dollar bill or a playing card or something like that I basically just touch it and then uh, and then pull it off just a, a tiny bit if you want to use a, a feeler gauge or something like that that's that's all good you can do that as well I just kind of eyeball it uh, and you'll get to where you can do it all the time as well so okay so on the top one on the top guide set see how we can move this in and out we want the bearing right there to sit just behind the gullet on the blade we don't want it to be going tick 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 or hitting that edge of that uh, that gullet or else it's just gonna ruin this bearing so what we're gonna do is go ahead and set this back and I'm pushing this over just so I can get a little bit better feel on that so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna tighten this up that's why it's so important that you get your tracking done first because if you were to have this set in the wrong position and then go and get your tracking then you're gonna be hitting the teeth on this alright now we've already got the the adjustment this way good let's go ahead and adjust the the bearings the guide bearings so as you can see you can as you as it kind of warbles but there's a subtle thing here I'm pulling in and out with my finger and I like to just go ahead and touch it and move it and then bring it off a little bit all right so nothing's touching there sorry I keep the camera keeps 
focusing. But you can move this in and out on this particular one. Uh, again, on the newer one, you're going to have thumb screws. So anyway, just go ahead and push it so it touches. And then bring it back off just a little bit. If you want to use a feeler gauge or whatever, that's good. But we're going to go ahead. I'm just hanging on to it. And then tightening it up. Alright, let's uh, go ahead and take a regular playing card here. And we're just going to try to slip that in there. And it's best barely barely touching now you can see it's just barely touching that see how the wheels moving if we go to the other side okay now we're going to do that back bearing so this one basically let's loosen that one back up thought he was loose and we can push him all the way back up. And this one, you just slides on that barrel. Let's go ahead and tap him, bring him back off, and then we'll tighten him. Let me see if I can hang on to him. He wants to roll forward as you tighten him, so you gotta. I'm gonna hold him with my finger over here, and then get it to where I want and tighten him down. I just saw how the whole thing rocked a little, but okay. So on this one, it might be a little bit hard to see, but we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna loosen this bolt again, and then we're gonna go ahead and line. We're gonna basically line up the same way the gullet so that it's not touching. And then we're going to go ahead and tighten this down. And you just, you know, sometimes you got to do trial and error, see, see what works, then bring your bearing in. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and adjust this, this guide bushing right here and just touch it and then bring it back off. And it should not move when you spin this so so now I can pretty much clearly see that this is in the right place so now that I've done that one I'm gonna go ahead to the back one here so let's see we're gonna well let me go ahead and do this first so let's go ahead and, and move this one in as well this is a, just a matter of pushing on it and it will again I just kiss the kiss it a little move it over just a touch if you want to use a card or a dollar bill that's all good too and I can see when I shake it that I've got just enough play I mean, let's go ahead and tighten that down now I'm gonna go ahead and change the position again do the back bushing and you can see it's it moves quite easy same thing this little guy right here so we don't want that to touch but basically we're in a good spot right there it's just loose enough and let's go ahead and tighten that this one is pretty hard to get to it's in a tough spot this metal is all right so we'll check it again kind of get a good idea of what we got there so that's a super super close up so anyway if we were to start pushing on this just a little bit we're gonna tap these and they will spin so that's kind of what we want okay I hope this helps you with changing the blade on your Rikon bandsaw and so let's see after a tune-up what it sounds like with a brand new blade. It's music to my ears. Thanks for watching.